Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Janaki Ram, uh, and I'm from NXP. Uh, I'm an engineering director for uh, security and connectivity division in NXP. And uh, based out of Bangalore, I've been in NXP for the last uh, uh, 18 years, uh, both in Bangalore and also in Silicon Valley. Uh, so mainly, my focus is going to be on security implications and solutions for smart cities. And since we are talking about smart cities, that's the topic that I took uh, as, uh, uh, as, a, as a topic. And yeah, I will also try to uh, rush up uh, because I think a lot of opening batsmen took a lot more time and uh, I'm the uh, uh, hitter here. Uh, so I'll have to complete it in 10 minutes. So what is a smart city? Uh, a lot of uh, examples of smart city solutions uh, we have from transport to e-government, yeah, maybe you can download your birth certificate or your income tax returns, et cetera, from the government offices, but is it secure? Can it be uh, sniffed or can it be taken when you are downloading your income tax returns? Smart infrastructure, where you have uh, intelligent street lighting or security surveillance solutions like Microsoft uh, person uh, talked about, uh, is uh, the security surveillance uh, systems, are they really, really secure? Can they really make you secure, feel secure when it is connected uh, uh, in IoT. And we have the smart grid, smart building, smart home, shopping. So the, and the list for smart cities doesn't stop here. It uh, probably goes beyond this uh, uh, transportation or healthcare. Yeah, many, many things combined together what we say as smart cities. A few things that uh, uh, why uh, we talk about security, why it is important. Uh, uh, one of the reports that you can read, the security cameras that are supposed to provide you the security, they have been hacked. They have been hacked multiple times, either your drop cam or other cameras. So they don't really provide the security, the current solutions that is in the market. Uh, uh, yeah, you can actually watch people at your home uh, from remotely uh, from different places. Uh, and also you see that uh, it, the, the hacking is not just with computers or your cameras, it is also in industrial environment or in your infrastructure, industrial environment, as you see that Stuxnet, uh, one of the virus, it's actually, uh, yeah, uh, brought down a nuclear reactor. So it, it's, uh, it's not just in your computer security that is important, but it is important in all infrastructure, all uh, your, uh, say, installations of smart cities. Uh, yeah, some more examples, as you see here, uh, uh, yeah, virus shut down the US power plant, or you can see that car hackers uh, uh, are able to take control of your car and drive them, control them. So that is, that is the reason why we say security is important. One of the laws uh, of cybersecurity, Beckstrom is uh, an expert. He was in uh, the US government uh, uh, managing uh, the security, or advising the security, and one of the laws of him is everything that is connected in the internet can be hacked. And everything is being connected to the internet, and that means everything is becoming vulnerable to attacks. And that's the reason why we see security is very important. Some more attacks that are made public, either your remote control of your car or cameras or, yeah. So a lot, lot more, uh, if you Google, how, how IoT devices are being hacked, you'll find numerous of them. And as you are increasing the connectivity, you are increasing the risk. Earlier, we had one laptop or one mobile phone, yeah, which are connected to the internet. Now, after all this uh, increasing in the connectivity, you will have close to seven devices that are connected to the internet. And uh, you, you need to make sure all these seven devices uh, that are connected to the internet of a person are really, really secure. How do we make that? Uh, and you see that uh, uh, technology trends are also that everything is connected, becoming smart, and everything is secure, but economic impact of cyber attacks is, if you look at Google around uh, how much it is impacting uh, the economy or bleeding uh, some of the uh, players is close to half trillion dollars. Uh, just, just a few examples of how uh, a network at a home can be attacked. Yeah, 
uh, I'm not going into smart city in this slide, but just at home, if you look at uh, local attacks, people can sniff and they can also spoof and then replay the messages that are going in the air, they can record and replay just to imitate the uh, authentic uh, uh, original user. Or you can actually do a remote attacks, scanning and exploration, malware insertion, or gain access to your devices. So some of the cameras can be, uh, some of the cameras you can gain access to, and you can actually control the cameras uh, from different places. Or a physical attack. If you are talking about just somebody was talking about a smart bulb, uh, you can bulb buy a smart bulb, and an attacker also can buy a smart bulb, and he can actually open it up, take the keys out of it, and uh, yeah, uh, once you have the keys, then you can put it in a different device which has the same keys and imitate as if you are the original bulb and then get into a network. So there are different kinds of attacks that you can do and I think this is just a, a simple threat analysis for a home, but if you go into a smart city, it's going to be much more exhaustive. How much security is needed? Yeah, uh, security is, I would say, is defined by the weakest link that you have. Yeah, I, mean, I can have a home which is completely locked, all the doors are locked, but if I have one door which is open, my home is not secure. So that's how important when you are going into billions of devices, smart, smart cities with uh, hundreds and thousands of devices, if few devices are not secure, then you open up for a hacker to attack into your infrastructure. So security level is defined by the weakest link and we have to ensure that utmost security through all platforms. So things that we need is into an encryption of data and secure storage of credentials. One of the speaker at the beginning was talking about the key storage and that's important, secure storage of credential, secure way of managing the firmware, firmware upgrade. When you are upgrading a firmware, the firmware needs to be authentic. Product sensitive networks and infrastructure with physical and network security. So these are all things that are needed to ensure that your infrastructure or smart cities are secure, or any IoT device is secure. And as NXP, yeah, we are actually a leading player in e-government, passports, and uh, banking security, uh, banking cards, so, and also the transportation, all the Bangalore Metro, you have the N NXP MyFair cards. So we are a leading player in e-government, smart mobility, mobile commerce, and brand production. So NXP is enabling, as a semiconductors company, enabling the utmost security possible in the IoT devices. Uh, so into end security for IoT devices, just uh, very briefly, authentication, firmware authentication, whether your bootloader or the OS apps that you have, are they authentic? You need to actually verify that every time that you start an IoT device. And secure storage, can my credentials be secured properly? So the NXP secure element, what you see here, can store all the keys without having or without providing any access to the hackers. So all the credentials, security algorithms are running on the secure storage or secure element that we have and that makes sure that uh, the target, even if you have the physical access to an IoT device, open it and try to read the keys from the secure element, you cannot read it. And that's how secure the NXP secure elements are. And so that's, that's, that's what I was talking about, secure storage and then confidentiality, so encrypted firmware and, uh, and memory obfuscation. So if you can actually, so this is how normal uh, silicon will look like, EEPROM, memory, etc. If you store it in a plain, as if it is a plain memory, people can read it. You can obfuscate the memory so that people, when, you are, when they are reading, you ca they cannot read it. So those are, these are end-to-end -end security that is needed in all the IoT devices. And I'll briefly mention this, but I'll skip this one. Trusted Platform Module, TPM, is, is a technology, or there's a specification, I would say, uh, that provides uh, utmost security for a platform. And NXP can provide, or NXP provides, uh, trust TPM modules for various solutions, various IoT devices or smart cities 
solutions, etc. And one of the reasons, I think people were also talking about uh, uh, proliferation, proliferation of the IoT devices. The IoT devices haven't proliferated as much as you would like uh, in, uh, uh, in the recent past. Yeah? The, the forecast was pretty high, but it has not proliferated as much as the forecast that businesses did. One of the reason is that how you can install the NF, uh, how you can install these IoT devices. The, it is so complex to install the IoT devices. One of the solutions that NXP provides is that when you want to exchange the keys, when during the installation you probably need to exchange some keys from your IoT device to a gateway, and how you can do that? If you do that in an open app, people can actually listen. The first keys have to be exchanged during installation. But NXP provides the NFC technology, which is you tap your IoT device to a gateway, the keys are exchanged. And NFC is near field communication, you cannot tap that communication. So that is one of the key technologies that NXP provides so that keys are exchanged uh, without compromising the security. And uh, then once the keys are exchanged, then you can use those keys to encrypt, etc. So, so that is. Ease of use is one of the main, uh, I would say, main uh, problems in the IoT proliferation, and NXP can provide solutions to make the installations uh, easy. So, just uh, uh, yeah, as uh, NXP, uh, uh, there are four technology trends that we focus on: uh, that's energy efficiency, connected devices, and security and health. And NXP provides solutions for all these devices. And uh, as I, I was mentioning, as solutions, so we don't just provide some of the modules or building blocks, we actually provide complete solutions because uh, we provide uh, sensors, we provide the communication ICs, we provide secure elements which can store all the credentials in a secure way, and we also provide NFC technology where you can exchange the credentials in a secure way. So NXP is a solution provider in the IoT market to ensure that security is not compromised. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's this one. So I will probably skip this one. Uh, and uh, the last slide is that when we build smarter cities, which touches billions of uh, lives, security must be built from beginning. It cannot be an afterthought. It, it must be built from beginning. Thank you. <laughs>